All right, so let's dive on in. And a lot of this is when we're talking about playing and processing information, we're talking about how comfortable Russell Wilson feels inside the pocket. And does he get his eyes in the right spot, meaning on the right defenders with different plays? So here we go, we got a little motion, a little play action. Okay, this particular play we're going to run, it's a play that I call Poco. So it's a post in a corner, and then off of that, we're gonna have a flat. Okay, so the idea here is we wanna run it against a situation where this corner is off and he's carrying this post route. Okay, and so then eyes go right to the flat defender. So wanna see as he comes out. Okay, it looks like he's looking over in that direction. Okay, and so as you guys look at this defender, so it's the safety that came down right here. I just want you to come off and look at him right now. Eyes on him right now. What's he doing? You see him opening up, you see him falling back. Boom, ball comes right here, right now to the flat. So again, just, I wanna watch on time. I wanna see him play on schedule. This guy's out of here, drop it right now. Instead, again, this stuff happens, but you see him drifting a little bit, taking some time, starting to scramble. Oh, there, I'm gonna get to the flat. So it doesn't seem like a big deal, but to me it's a big deal because if you get your eyes in the right spot, you can play the game faster. You can decipher things based on what the defense does, and that's the most important thing when you're playing and processing information within this kind of scheme, is I wanna know where to get my eyes and what I'm looking for right now. Okay, so nice job right here. We're gonna run a little play that I call popcorn. So it's a flat, a pop, and a corner. Okay, that's the popcorn. All right, we're gonna come out here with a play fake, come up here, we're gonna block Max Crosby with the, the back. And so, again, comfort level in the pocket. Set up, okay? Just turn, make your play fake, set up. Okay, so again, just the uncomfortability of the fact that he's not turning and confident in what he's seeing, he's coming out and he's kind of fading and falling, instead of just, hey, I'm trusting my guys to block, I'm coming out here, I know that I'm reading this flat defender, he goes flat, I hit the pop right behind it. Now, he gets it to the right guy, you know? He does the right thing here and makes the right read. I just, again, uncomfortable. As he's coming out of this, just doesn't look comfortable to me inside the pocket, which is something that I was hoping that I would see this year that was a little bit better, okay? So again, little things here, little things. Being able to see things pre-snap. Understand big picture things pre-snap, okay? so. What they're gonna do is they're gonna drop this safety down here and we're gonna play man-to-man -man coverage. You know, based on the press and the press, got a pretty good idea that they're gonna play man-to-man -man coverage. So we're gonna run double slants back here, okay, which is a good play against man-to-man -man coverage. I have no problem with the decision to throw a double slant because it can be really good against uh, against man-to-man -man coverage. All I'm saying is that for me, I wanna make the easiest throw. I wanna see the big picture. So, big picture, Marcus Peters down here playing off coverage. To me, an off coverage slant, because they're gonna run slant with flat over here, plus safety coming down high, giving you a great opportunity to hit this flat right now because of space. Space is always easier. Anytime we got press, yes, we can win against press, but we could also get jammed and lose against press. Off coverage, is so much easier. So we come out and we're gonna throw the double slant back to that side and again, you just see it's harder. Body's there, reach around, tighter throw, whereas down here on the bottom, take a look at it, boom, easy, easier. Whichever one you wanna go to, right? You could take this one right here, he turns the corner, great shot to get the first down and we've got space in between these two guys. We could go with the slant here, okay, slant coming here, you see the space, you see the window here, just a much easier throw right there that comes down to, and again, it could be a matchup. We could say, hey, I wanna throw it up top to that receiver and set it down here, all of those things, but to me, I wanna make the game as easy as possible, as quickly as possible. I'm going to the off coverage guy right there because it's just an easy throw, nobody's impeded, and you see that thing from a big picture standpoint. Okay, one thing that I thought Coach Payton did really well uh, in this game, and you saw some of it, and this is what helps a quarterback as he's learning how to process information and get his eyes in the right spot, 
is we want to come with what we call more pure progression type plays. So we've got this post corner route again, kind of the poco. And then from there, we're going to run a shallow and we're going to run an in and then we're going to put the back over here. And what that does is it helps us to go one. If you don't have that, come down to here two because it's coming right into your eyes. Then we have three coming into your vision again and you're working straight across the field. Now there's limitations, I believe, with pure progression, but it helps those guys that aren't quite as seasoned at, at reading things, getting their eyes in the right spot. It helps them to just kind of play through the field. Nice throw right here. Number one comes open, works out really, really well, but that was something that I noticed with some of the plays that were more pure progression, not what we would call full field where you have to choose a side or the other. And again, uncomfortability. That to me is, is, is key, right? This guy, when he was playing in Seattle, was 100% comfortable, right? Give him any play. He felt confident he was going to make every single throw. He wasn't impatient in the pocket. He wasn't moving his feet. He wasn't looking just to get the ball out of his hands. He was looking to make plays. Okay, so here we're going to run a special here to try to get a big play. So we're going to run this guy here, and he's going to lean, and then he's going to run kind of a deep post route and then this guy here is going to push up and he's going to run a flatter corner route. So the idea we're going to get the play fake here. So the idea here is we're trying to if we get a rolled corner here a corner up here we're trying to isolate this safety back here. If that safety goes high I take this second level throw. If that safety jumps to this side and jumps the corner I'm trying to take the shot up over the top of it. All right so you guys tell me off the play fake okay Right here, okay? We get the safety to turn this way, so I get it. We're not taking that one, we're taking this one. But you tell me, when Russell was in Seattle, does he pass up this throw? Does he pass up that throw to make this throw right here? No chance, no chance whatsoever. Comfortability, feeling comfortable with what you're doing. Right there, look at that. Russell Wilson can make that throw without a doubt. He can make that throw. This safety, or this corner, is way in here on the numbers, there's all that space to the outside, passes it up, and throws a check down for a loss of yardage. Okay, so just kind of working through things. So here's what we've got here. This is a play that we call sluggo seam all right so it's a double move down here double move sluggo slant and go and then we're going to run a seam back here and then a hitch over here okay so again processing the whole field seeing the big picture what we're looking for with this sluggo down on the bottom is i need one-on-one -on -one. if i don't have one-on-one -on -one, meaning if i have a safety help up over the top then i am off of that right now there's really no reason to go down there because even if we beat the corner underneath, I've got a safety over the top. I don't really have anything. So really my throw is going to be back to the front side. All right. So there's layers to this. So if I got press coverage over here, so I knew it was cover two. So just two safeties high. What would happen is we would get the seam to bend here. And then this guy would turn this into, if he was pressed, he would turn it into a go route. So we would come back to this side and we would read this guy two on one. All right, so that's one picture. Next picture, I've got the corner off over here. So they're playing quarters to that side and two back to this side. So I don't like this because I have help. I don't get the two on one over there. So as a quarterback, what I'm saying to myself is, what I'm really thinking is this is the throw that I'm going to get. Okay, so some, quarter, some teams will say, go ahead and work through it. So go ahead and, and read this sluggo over here. I don't know why, because you're not going to throw it. Or come back and see if you can get the seam there and, and beat the safety. Again, to me, why? We're really swimming upstream. We're trying to force something. Or you could come out and say, I'm seeing the big picture. Roll down here to the bottom. So as soon as I see this safety in a high position, just come back and take your hitch there. Even if you work through this, Okay, we're off of that really quickly. When we see that guy gone, I'm going to peek this safety here. Don't have it. Recover out there. Okay, so again, you see Russell here. 
He's looking at the double move, boom, now I'm back to the check down. Okay, not much time really processing and going through everything. Would have loved to have seen him just come out, just take the hitch. Just take it right now because that's really the only option you have on this play. But instead, peek the double move, you can see his eyes, right? His eyes come over here, peeks the double move even though he doesn't have it. Then boom, right back down to the check down again. So a lot of things get into his check down, but he gets to his check down so quickly that it's making me say he's not comfortable with what he's seeing. He's not comfortable with what they're doing, so he's not able to process through the plays. It's really just peek at one guy, don't have it, throw your check down. Okay, love this one right here, right? This is the Russell Wilson that I know. When he knows what he's looking at, when he gets the right look and he's confident in his throws, skinny post right here, see the safety, safety gets a little bit of depth, there is no hesitation, boom, ball's out, money throw, seen him do this a million times in Seattle, this is what I want to see, I want to see him confident in what he's doing, getting back and ripping the football because he can still throw the football, didn't forget how to throw the football, it's just he's not confident in what he's doing. Nice one right here, okay, so they've got another one of these plays where it's more of a pure progression. We got this little post going here, then we got this out and up, okay? And then from there, we're sneaking out in this direction and bringing people back into his vision. Nice job right here, where he gets this corner to squeeze inside, patient with it, makes a great throw down the sideline right here, this particular play. is get him to turn inside nice throw up and over receiver ends up stepping out of bounds there but really good read and throw by Russell Wilson one more time read the outside defender oh nice throw should have been a big chunk play Okay, again, uncomfortable. Uncomfortable in the pocket. Now, I'm gonna fake a toss here, and, you know, to his defense, they're gonna bring pressure right here. Now, the guys up front do a great job of protecting it. They're gonna run a little shake seven route here. That's what they're trying to get off of the toss. Okay, so we could get the toss here. Fake toss, set up. Look how wide open that is, right? Tell me Russell Wilson can't make this throw. Boom, come back. There it is, like he's got this guy down. He's got all this space right here. Just set up, right? Uncomfortable. Pressure comes, good job picking up the pressure. Slide up in the pocket and make this throw. Attack down the field. Uncomfortable. Feet are already sideways, seeing the pressure. Pressure is what he's focused on. His eyes drop down. He sees the pressure. He's not looking down the field. Get the check down out and get the ball out. Like, I mean, it's not even a chance to complete this. He throws it so quick that it's almost just like a throwaway when he's got an opportunity down the field with good protection back behind him. Okay, so we're going to have what we call five out. So we're going to release the back right now. So we've only got five guys protecting, five guys out. Okay, so protection, one, two, three, four, down guys. I like the way they slide it. They're gonna slide it backside to five because they've got three receivers out here. Tough for a defense to cover three receivers out the front side without giving them a quick throw. But this guy becomes my hot guy or anybody strong side becomes my hot guy. So as a quarterback, that's what I need to see first. I need to see my hot guys. Okay, so right now, he does it. His eyes are looking over here. I want him to see it. I want him to recognize it. I want that to be the first piece of the puzzle. Now, he does a great job of feeling it and reacting and getting a positive play out of this, but I want him to see it. This is going to be part of the deal, is we've got two go routes over there, so that's not the most important thing right now. The most important thing is to see if I've got a pressure issue, a free hitter coming to this side. Got to peek it. Peek it first, 
Nice reaction, but peek it first and get the ball out. If he sees it, he's getting the ball out right now. This guy's got the ball and he's able to come downhill and possibly pick up a gainer right here. Instead, we're a little bit late. Don't really gain anything on that play. Comfortable, being comfortable with the plays, being comfortable with the protections, being comfortable with full field reads, it's not easy. Okay, so here we go again. Same thing, it's basically the same play we just saw. We're just gonna run it again. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go here, bring the back on a swing, and then we've got the go routes to the backside. So once again, just watch Russell Wilson's eyes. Okay, his eyes, his feet starts to the right and it bounces to the left and he's uncomfortable and he's bouncing. He's not even really seeing anything, I don't think, right? I don't really think he's seeing anything right here. So the process would be on this one, okay, is once the corners get soft here, okay, we've got one safety in the middle, okay? So it really would come down to, we're gonna try to get one of these two seams and we're going to isolate that safety and we're gonna go two on one here. But whenever I decide what my safety's doing and which side he's going to, I'm looking for the carry of the defenders. Once I get a carry, stay in the pocket and just deliver to your back right here. Okay, so you see it. There's carry, carry everywhere. Carry, everybody's deep. Okay, you're reading off the free safety. Get to your check down on time. Just kick it out here, wide open, big play, and again, it's, I'm uncomfortable, I'm not sure what I'm seeing, I'm gonna go buy some time, I'm gonna go be Russell Wilson, and then I'm gonna find a throw. Okay, so here's another fire pass. Okay, so remember that fire pass is slide down, bring the back to the edge. Usually when you have fire pass, you have a flat. It all starts with the flat right here. That's our first read, let's see what else we got here. Okay, so. Really looks like we're going flat, crosser, and then this guy right here on this particular play. But always flat first, okay? Always flat first. So we come out, there it is. Like, he's already turned back looking here. You guys tell me, a little ball up and over right here? Right there, there's the throw. There's the throw to the flat, it's third, and one, that's why we call this. We try to get everybody coming up thinking we're running it, slip the back out here. That's a throw, right? He's got a decent pocket. Stand in there, go through your reads, make the play, right? And again, eyes, feet all over. He's looking inside, he's looking outside, misses the opportunity, comes back and finds it here, but it's not on schedule, it's not on time. It's not the stuff that I, that I want to see him recognize what he's seeing, recognize the progression where he's looking right off the bat and be able to settle into the pocket and deliver the throws. Here's another one. We've got a four strong look right here. Okay, so one, two, three, and then we're putting the back to that side. Okay, we're going to release these guys through here. We're going to bring the shallow across and the back's in the flat. So once again, this is going to be very similar in how we read this to the fire pass. Okay, we're trying to create interference and get man. Here's the man guy. He gets caught up right here. Here's my first read. Okay, this is late in the game. This is an opportunity to win the football game right here. That's my first read. Come out, see the big picture. See the big picture. Okay, what's the big picture? The big picture, as you can see, down, down, down. We've got man. Okay, we've got man. So that means this guy's covering the back and he's got to get through all this stuff. So even right off the bat, I'm thinking I got a great chance to get it to my back. He gets caught up, there's a throw. Right there, right now, I think he's in the end zone. I think he's walking into the end zone if you get it right here. But once again, Russell Wilson, uncomfortable, right? Moving, never really sets, doesn't quite know what he's looking at, turns into just an automatic throw away and have to kick a field goal instead of an opportunity for a touchdown. All right, so there's look one at Sean Payton, Russell Wilson together. And I'm seeing a lot of the similar things that I saw a year ago. Trying to play full field read type football, trying to get your quarterback to understand that it's come out, read a defender, understand your progression, get through it. And the biggest thing is I wanna see my quarterback comfortable 
with what we're asking him to do. I didn't see a comfortable quarterback in this game. I didn't see a quarterback that said, hey, we're playing to my strengths. These are things that I've done a million times. I'm comfortable in the pocket. I'm set. I'm ready to rip and attack down the field. I saw a quarterback that wasn't comfortable inside the pocket, was looking to buy just enough time so he could get out of there and go make a play, which is where he's comfortable. So that is going to be the challenge moving through the season is how does Sean Payton get Russell Wilson comfortable in the pocket? How does Russell Wilson get more comfortable with their reads and what they're doing so he can just sit back and play to his skill set, which we know is Pro Bowl level skill set if you're playing to his strengths. So first look at this experiment, to me I say it has, it's not working yet. It hasn't come together yet, a long way to go. It's only been a short part of the process, but they have got to figure out a way to get on the same page so we can get our quarterback playing at his highest level.